I find Bob Dylan's musical journey to be such an interesting one because it reflects often where he is with his life, his life views, his philosophy, even his religion, because he had three gospel records that he put out during the 70s and maybe early 80s after a conversion to Christianity. And this album here, which is titled Infidels, very, uh, I should say, fittingly, uh, was a return to secular music apparently so here we are i think it is a fantastic uh, backdrop for a bob dylan track what will he write about after going through a spiritual journey and a religious change maybe losing god once again i can only imagine it would create for a fantastic track this one here is suggested by rodney here we go let's check out this track here we are with joe command by bob dylan Immediately, I mean, talk about spiritual um, imagery, the idea of Christ, right when we start off. I like that he didn't waste no time. He got right into it. Distant ship sailing in through the mist. You were born with a snake in both of your fists while a hurricane was blowing. Feet hmm. up, just around the corner for you. But with truth so far away. He's got a fantastic voice that evolved with time from the early Dylan, um, hitting some great notes there. Now, to speak on the theme of this track, I heard a quote from John Lennon, I believe it was from John Lennon, who said that when he writes records, he thinks it's about a person, or he's even writing it angrily towards a person, only to eventually, years later, understand that it was actually about him, some aspect of him he didn't like. And it was him talking about Bob Dylan's process. This was actually Bob Dylan saying how he had a similar process. He would think he's writing about someone and it was always actually a mirror to himself. And although he might be writing about Christ here, my guess is it's, it's probably a lot about himself. And I even imagine this part here where he says, you were born with a snake in both of your fists while a hurricane was blowing. You know, I, he's got a track called Hurricane. Maybe I'm reaching here, but I imagine maybe it's also like self-reflective here. I think that verse kind of speaks to that aspect. Take this line here. So he's built up an idea of uh, reptiles, snakes, imagery a couple of times. Um, and then he's speaking here, right? So let's do this bit first. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. Both of their futures so full of dread. You don't know. You don't show one. So this is the idea of like him uh, having left making uh, gospel type music into secular music, maybe re losing religion slightly um, and him being a bit scared about what the future holds for him. His uh, the idea is so full of dread. Then him saying shedding off one more layer of skin, maybe leaving behind the um, spiritual religious uh, feelings that he had during those years where he was making that gospel music. I don't know if he had lost God at this point Maybe it's a reference to losing that old version of him and embracing God. It could still mean that too. He's developed a great voice. See how it fits both Jesus and him? He did manipulate crowds.
there's certainly like a, a gospel-like element to the music backing it, which I which I think is very fitting because there's fantastic religious imagery throughout. I could stop at each verse and break down how fantastic the writing is. But speaking on the duality of him, is it about him or is it actually about Jesus? Manipulator of crowds, you're a dream twister. You know, the idea of Jesus preaching in front of crowds who wanted to listen about this uh, this person who was healing people. Uh, at the same time, Dylan fit that. You're going to Sodom and Gomorrah, more religious imagery, biblical imagery. And then this part here, what, what, but what do you care? Ain't nobody there would want to marry your sister. I don't quite get that part. But then it continues with friend to the martyr. Again, the idea of Jesus being with the sinners, a friend to the woman of shame. You know, Mary Magdalene. Interesting take. This is what I mean with his writing, right? Okay, so let's break this down a bit, a little bit. Well, the rifle man stalking the sick and the lame. So the idea of like a hunter with the prey, right? Uh, if you, in in the Serengeti, the the lions don't try and attack the big, strongest buffalo, do they? They 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 go for the sick and the lame. So then he says, preacher man seeks the same. Who'll get there first is uncertain. What great imagery. So the preacher man, I first initially took that as like, oh, the preacher man is the opposite. He's with the people in the sense of the other verses where he's saying Jesus is with uh, the prosecuted, the martyred, the women of shame. But it could also take this idea of these are the same people. Preacher man and the rifleman share the same thing. They're both trying to target the lame, the sick. In this sense, the preacher man is, you know, maybe an evangelical teacher who's like trying to make some money. Um, really great double, double there, double entendre, two, two meanings. this one for sure.
Thanks, man. It's unbelievable the the feelings, the images that he's able to conjure up with just words. It's, it, he is really a unique, unique talent that only few have. He's certainly one of them. Um, awesome track, man. Awesome track to hear him, his return. I think this was, they were saying it was the first, um, uh, in the research, I'm saying they. This was the first track of Infidels. So his return back to secular music. And it's something like this that draws from religious themes um, every single verse had something there did it fit an entire theme together i don't know i felt like in the last verses maybe less so but it's more of the perspective of someone who's maybe seen two worlds now he's been in the dirty dingy um music industry world and maybe seeing the light seeing the world through that eyes of that kind of journalist that young journalist he was reporting on the things he saw and then having seen um, the world of, of Christianity and maybe delving deep into that and seeing maybe there's some some similarities there. He certainly said that, you know, in it's a shadowy world, skies are slippery grey. I didn't speak too much of it, but on it, but there's fantastic um, rhyme schemes throughout. That was an example of one. Yeah, it's just, it's a masterclass. He's, he's just, when he is allowed freedom to just say what is in his mind and he wants to say, it's brilliant. His throwaways are fantastic. The man's just, he's in a class of his own. Great track, uh, great recommendation by Rodney. And I'll catch you guys on the next track, Dylan or wherever else I'll see you. Peace.